If you're considering purchasing on 30A, whether you want to live here full time or you want a vacation here, there are a few things that you might need to know. Stick around, this is the video for you. I'm AJ Baduke, your local 30A real estate agent and advisor on all things 30A in the area. So if you have any questions about 30A, make sure you hit that subscribe button that might be on this side. They keep moving it on me and ding the little bell so that you get notified every time I do another video. In this video, I'm going to go over the top 15 things that you need to know whenever you're considering moving, whether full time or part time to the 30A area. The first thing that I want to go over is not everybody here is a local. As you've probably noticed, if you've ever been to the area, we have so much tourism in this area specifically along this 20 mile stretch. We have tons and tons of people and they're usually going to be different. Some people are going to be, you know, snowbirds. We've got people that are just going to come, you know, for a week out of the summer or, you know, whatever kind of cadence that they might see fit. We have a lot of folks out here that like to use their properties as a second home or just rent them out whenever they have the ability to, or even just rent out, you know, a carriage house right there on the property while they stay here full time. But the point is not everybody here, you're not going to see the same faces all the time necessarily, unless you start frequenting the same establishments over and over and over again. And then you're more likely to start actually meeting some locals. I'd also like to say, I'm not going to go over these in any kind of, um, you know, order necessarily, just kind of information for you. So the second thing I'm going to go over, which uh, doesn't really follow behind tourism very well, but we'll go with it, is hurricanes. We definitely get hurricanes here on 30A. It's not, you know, special because it's so nice. So it's not like the rest of Florida and we don't see hurricanes. No, we absolutely see hurricanes in this area as well. Are they as scary as everyone makes them out to be? Sometimes, you know, sometimes they are, sometimes they're not. The The frequency that we get a direct hit that is absolutely devastating, few and far between. I'd say about every 15 years, we're going to get something pretty heavy. How often are you going to want to evacuate? That all depends on your uh, desired level of excitement, we'll say. You can be like a hashtag Florida man and, you know, be out there waving your flag or, uh, you know, you can take it kind of like I do as um, a great excuse to go on a short vacation. You know, one of the benefits that we have here along 30A is that it's the hurricanes that we deal with. It's not earthquakes and typically not tornadoes, although we have been getting some wild weather here this past week. This is, what is today? June 23rd. This past week, we had crazy weather. I mean, water spouts all over the place, lightning. I mean, it was like thousands of strikes of lightning. They just didn't stop. The, the sky just stayed bright. It was absolutely insane, but completely out of the ordinary and not something that we deal with all the time. So yes, we get hurricane, hurricanes, but we also get all kinds of notice for these. You know, if you're going to have a tornado or an earthquake, you know, you're looking at a very short timeline to actually react or, you know, kind of preemptively prepare. Whereas with a hurricane, we're getting like a week's notice. We know it's coming. We might not know where exactly it's going or what the... Um, you know, the level is going to be, but usually within, you know, two days, you have a solid idea and you know whether you're going to pack up or, you know, stick around for the ride. Something else is we are right on the Gulf, right? That's why everyone wants to come here. We have the most beautiful beaches. Like, I don't care where you live in the U.S. Our beaches are better than yours. I said what I said. They are gorgeous here. Absolutely amazing. And the sharks love them too. So the third thing that I'm going to talk to you guys about are the sharks. We do have them, whether you're hanging out strictly in Long 30A, or if you're going on into Destin or going over to Crab Island, we have sharks. We've seen, you know, all kinds of, um, I'm not like a shark expert, but um, I was just out at the beach, what, a week ago by myself. I didn't have my daughter with me this time. And there was a shark just chilling She's just like swimming along right there in the shallows right there along 38. It was beautiful. But we've also seen like huge, huge whale sharks. And then we get we get hammerheads. We saw a whole bunch of them over at uh, Crab Island. So are they there? Yes. Do we have a lot of shark attacks? Not so much. They seem to be pretty much as chill as we are. We do like to stay out of their way just in case. But they are definitely there. And there's all kinds of wildlife in that water too. Just when I was out there and I saw that shark, there was this massive stingray 
pray. I mean, just, I can't really give you like a distance from here to wherever during this video, but it was not a long distance at all. It would have been nothing for me to like get over there and touch it. It's, I wouldn't like, I learned from Steve Irwin, you know, but this thing was huge. And right after that, there were dolphins going everywhere and I've seen sea turtles. So wildlife is abundant, even here on 38. If you really want to see them, go in the morning before it gets super crowded. The water's still pretty clear. It's still kind of mellow. That's when you're going to see the majority of the, wa the wildlife out here. The fourth thing that I want to go over is the prices, right? Everyone's like, well, the prices just keep going up. Of course, they, they've got to come down, right? Well, not that we've seen. So far, everything is just continuing to go up. We're starting to see things kind of come down a little bit from the list price and what they go for, but not necessarily in their value. The values are continuing to go up. And that's something that we've seen across the board um, with 30A for quite some time now. Not really anticipating any changes there. So still a solid investment, both for short-term rental and to just have it sitting there, you know, building its equity for you. The next thing I want to go over, I've already forgotten my space and uh, what number we're on, but don't worry, I have a list. So when you're thinking 30A, if you've been here before, you're probably thinking, oh, well, you can rent any of these, right? Like it's 30A. It's a huge tourist area. Of course, you can rent any of these out. Not necessarily the case. We absolutely have some areas along 30A and some very specific subdivisions that don't allow short-term rentals at all. So if you're interested in purchasing a short-term rental specifically along 30A, I'm going to throw all my contact information up on the screen for you. You can give me a call, text, email, whichever way you prefer to reach out, and I will let you you know if the properties that you're currently interested in will allow you to short-term rent out the property or not and also run some projections for you so you know if the numbers make sense now a lot of folks will come out here and they'll be like you know i'm not right on the water it's a bit of a drive even though we're south of 98 we're a little bit north of 30a proper and we don't really want to make that draw or we don't really want to make that walk to the beach and we don't really want to bring a car so we're going to have a golf cart and there are a lot of airbnbs that'll have golf carts as well but something to keep in mind not all of these roads allow golf carts there are signs specifically in various areas that will tell you no low what do they call them low something vehicles i don't know why i can't think of it right now but basically they're talking about golf carts okay you can only use them on specific roads if you have any questions about that maybe you just purchased a property or you're about to or you're considering it and you want to make sure that golf carts are allowed in the area go ahead and hit me up i'll look into it and i will let you know Something else to consider about our area is even though 38 is super sweet to dogs, I mean, we just love them. 38 is full of like wonderful people, you know, and wonderful people seem to like dogs. It just is what it is, you know, science. But um, not all beaches are created with uh, dogs in mind, essentially. So a lot of the beaches you can bring your dog to, but there are some that you can't, like Great Beach State Park. The state parks tend to be where dogs are not allowed, but the public accesses seem to all allow dogs. And there, there will even be like, um, these little trash stations where you can grab a bag and bring it out to the beach with you in case Fido has an accident or an intentional right there in the sand so nobody else you know steps in it because that would ruin just about anyone's day I feel like but do keep in mind that the only way you can bring a dog onto the beach in Walton County is if you have it registered you have it permitted now you can't do this as a short-term rental person as like a tenant you have to own property in Walton County and you get one permit per dog so you can't take that permit and hand it to, say, a short-term rental tenant and let them use it for their pup. There is a huge fine associated with that and you can get your permit taken away so that you would no longer be allowed to take your dog onto the beach. Not a fun time, especially if you love your pup, which if you have a pup, you probably love it. So just don't mess with it. Get your permit for your dog. Bring your dog to the beach. Don't share it with anybody else. Let them get their own. Along with all of the heavy tourism that we get here in the area, that does mean that our restaurants tend to fill up pretty quickly. Now, a downside Side is not all of them will take reservations which is also kind of a plus side because if you're the type to be like I'm gonna get over there early or I'm gonna stand in line I'm gonna get my table what have you that's great because a lot of them really they will not take reservations but then there's some that will so it's really important to take that into account whenever you're planning dinner especially if you're the type to get really hangry like me you really want to know when you're going to be able to eat and, you know, shove some snacks in your cargo pockets if you're the type to get super hungry and get super mad if you're not eating right when you need to. So just kind of keep that in mind. 
Speaking of dining options, I'm going to talk about the lack of dining options here, specifically when it comes to drive throughs There aren't any drive through places along 30A. Now, if you're the type that you're like, I just need my Burger King fix or, you know, whatever it is. I don't know. Some people love drive throughs If you go north of 30A onto 98, which goes east to west, on the north side there, they're starting to create some drive throughs We've got a Burger King and there's a, a taco something. It's not a Taco Bell. It's some other kind of taco something or other. And I believe they're making yet another one. So we're starting to have some faster drive through options, especially for folks that are looking to commute in the mornings or whenever going over into Panama City Beach or heading over to Miramar Beach or Destin area. Now you're starting to have some fast, you know, food options, <laughs> fast food options. Um, so those are there, but you're not going to find them on actual 30A proper, at least not yet. I don't know if we're going to see that change. I kind of hope not kind of leave them on 98. But uh, just keep that in mind that if you're like starving, you might have to head north a little bit, get on the 98, grab your fast food there. Speaking of getting places early, the beaches absolutely fill up. And it's not just the beaches, it's the parking too. So if you're driving to the beach, parking spots are going to fill up very, very quickly, especially during peak season. And the beaches themselves will absolutely fill up as well. So keep that in mind if you're planning a full day at the beach or if you're like, oh, I kind of just want to head over there you know you just had a random thought you know as we do and uh, oh the weather's great or oh the weather's great I want to just head out over to the beach why not to just spend an hour maybe a lunch break what have you during peak season you might want to anticipate a little bit more planning just to make sure you still have an enjoyable time if you're the type that's like I don't care how far away from the water I'm sitting I can be like super close to the access and just put my feet in the sand and I'll be happy that's one thing but if you're you know kind of a snob about where you want to set your stuff down and where you're going to be located, then you might want to get there a little bit earlier. If you've been looking at properties along the Florida Panhandle, even along the coast, right there on the water, you know, Destin, Miramar Beach, all the way into Navarre. If you've been coming along and you're kind of looking at properties, the prices are going to be a little bit elevated here on 30A. 30A is, I would like to call it kind of our most luxurious coastal town here on the Panhandle. So you're going to see prices reflecting that. So just keep that in mind if you've been and kind of searching along the coast. Maybe you came from Gulf Shores or something and you've just been steadily making your way to the east and then you came across 30A and you're like, wow, this is beautiful. It is beautiful, comes at a price. It is well, well worth it though. The next thing I wanna go over is how we touched on tourism a little bit and how that can kind of change up the, the living feel here on 30A, right? We're gonna see more traffic. We're gonna see more people. We're gonna see longer waits for just about everything. But I'll tell you something that you won't see because of it. And that's a state income tax, which is amazing because yes, we have some elevated prices and yes, we have some traffic and, you know, quite a few people, but all of that kind of feels like it's been negated, mitigated, eliminated, however you want to look at it by the lack of having to pay state income taxes. It saves you so much money. And honestly, even our property taxes in general, while they're a little high, really compared to the rest of the U.S. and even the rest of Florida, they're not the highest by by any stretch of the imagination. Even in our in our area, just here on the Emerald Coast, they're not the highest. So while 30A, you might see, you know, the actual structures, the condos, the houses, the townhouses, what have you, be a little elevated in price. There are a lot of things that make it actually pretty reasonable when it comes to how much money you're actually spending. All right, if you're still with me, good job. We've got three more things on the list, all right? So the next one I wanna go to is the different activities that we have here on 30A. Obviously, if you know 30A, you know the beach. You're like, whoa. What else do I need to know? It's got the most beautiful beaches. Well, sometimes I can get a little old, especially if you're going to be here for six months out of the year or longer, whatever it is that you intend to do with this property. So keep in mind that there's golf. There are, you know, coastal dune lakes. So you can go and do your kayaking, your paddleboarding, which you can do those out on the golf as well when it's pretty flat out there or when it's not and a little rough for those of you that are a little bit more advanced than me on a paddleboard or a kayak. Um, but you can go fishing. Some people, you know, fish right off the the edge here and they'll catch shark and all kinds of things. I'm not a fisherwoman, so <laughs> don't ask me a whole bunch of questions on what people are catching out here because I don't know. Um, but we also have the um, 
Point Washington State Forest. So this area is awesome. You can take your, you know, Jeep or whatever kind of, uh, not whatever kind of off-road vehicle. I believe we just had a meeting and they said that we weren't going to do, you know, like ATVs and such out there because of the noise and parties and what have you. But you can take your, anything with like four-wheel drive, all-wheel drive for the most part. It's pretty flat, but there are some like rivets. And then when it rains, we'll get quite a bit of mud. So you can go off-roading right there. Or you can go hiking on those same trails trails. You can bring your dog. You can, you know, go by yourself, whatever it is. And then we have the Tempuchi Trail, which, go, which goes all the way along 30A. And so you can use that to walk, skateboard, you know, skate, whatever means that you like for outdoor activity that's there for you as well. So we have quite a bit going on right here in the area that means you don't just have to go to the beach every day. Second to last thing is, like we said, there's more than just the beach. And also in proximity, there is more than just the beach because we are super close to Destin and we're super close to Panama City Beach. So if this calm along 38 is uh, going to be too calming, you need something to, you know, bring your energy up a little bit, maybe you need to go a little bit crazy, uh, you can head over to the west a little bit, head into Destin, go enjoy the nightlife over there. You can go over to Panama City Beach, head over into Pier Park, get all of your shopping out of the way. There's so much shopping. You know, 38 has plenty of shops as well. Very boutique style, beautiful. Although I believe Alvin's just bought up quite a bit of space. So we'll see what happens with that. But for now, lots of boutique shops. If you want the larger, you know, um, chain style places, and just head up to the north onto 98, head east or west, and you'll have more than you know what to do with. With all that being said, and you know, the close proximity that we are to everything else, including airports, which makes it very, very easy for you to come in from somewhere else or your friends to come in and visit you or your tenants to come in and enjoy a great vacation. Um, you also don't really have to leave the area for anything that you might need. While it's a great vacation spot, you have everything that you would need from a town. You know, you've got your groceries, your health care, babysitters, people to help you with whatever it is that you need. You know, you can find handymen and you can find, you know, personal assistants to go and grab your dry cleaning, things of that nature. Everything that you could possibly need is right here. You've got a gym, you've got schools. I mean, just everything. Farmers markets every weekend. It's so great from the local farmers. So you can stay in shape, stay healthy, stay happy, you know, and make some money. So overall, 38, wonderful investment, great place to live, whether full-time or as a part-time residence or second home, third home, whatever it is that it is. If you've been considering 38 as an investment or a second home, primary residence, what have you, I'm going to put all my information on the screen again. You can give me a call, text, email, whatever it is that works best for you. I've had people hit me up on Instagram, Facebook. I don't mind. No, I don't think you're creepy. I'm just happy to hear from you. Whenever you do reach out for 30A, you will be dealing with me and I will be absolutely ecstatic to help you find your next property. If you're still watching, then go ahead and comment down below with which one of these facts was something you didn't know about 30A or if there is a topic that you'd like me to cover in a following video. And also please go ahead and click that like button because clearly if you're still with me, you found something that was a golden nugget or great information for you. That'll let other people know that this is a good uh, video to watch and I can help more people. I will see y'all at the next one. Bye.